All right, so this is the continuation of the optimization video. We are now on our fourth example. Number four, a rectangular garden is to be constructed against the side of a garage. The gardener has 100 feet of fencing and will construct a three-sided fence. The side of the garage will form the fourth side. What dimensions will give the garden of greatest area? So we'll first draw the figure for this problem and at the same time define our variables from the figure. All right, so this is the rectangular garden. This is the wall of the garage. All right, so this is a hundred feet of fencing from here, this side and the other side, All right? So this is in the form of a rectangle. So it has a length and width. All right, so let, let us define our variable. Let the width of the garden be equal to x and let, let its length be equal to y. Okay, so since it's rectangular, the other side also measures x, okay? Now, <clears throat> remember that we have a constraint here. We, the gardener only has a hundred feet of fencing. So therefore, if we add x and this side, x and this side, y, the sum must be equal to a hundred feet. So x plus x plus y equals 100. Or if we simplify this function or equation, we'll have 2x plus y equals 100. And then what, we, what do you want to achieve here? So what dimensions, look at the question, what dimensions will give the garden of greatest area? Okay. So greatest area means you want to maximize the area or the floor area of the garden. And it's in the form of a rectangle. So how do we compute for the area of a rectangle? We simply multiply the width of the rectangle by its length. So x times y, the width times the length of the rectangle, is equal to its area. And what do you want to do with the area of the rectangle, rectangular garden? We want to maximize, okay, because we want the greatest area for the garden. Okay, now, the area A is in terms of X and Y, but we have here the relationship between X and Y. So solving for Y in terms of X, just transpose 2X to the other side, and we'll get Y equals 100 minus 2X. Therefore, A can be written in terms of a single variable X only. So A in terms of X is X times Y, where Y is equal to 100 minus 2X. So simplifying a of x by removing the grouping symbols, you'll have 100x minus 2x squared. Now to get the value of x that will maximize the area of the garden, we have to get the first derivative of a of x, and it's very simple. And we'll get 100 minus 4x. And then to get the maximum value for a of x, we uh, equate the first derivative of a of x to 0. 100 minus 4x and then solve for x. Transposing negative 4x to the left, we'll have 4x equals 100. And then dividing both sides by 4, we'll get x equals 25. This is in feet. All right? Now we have to make sure that x will yield to a maximum value of a of x. So using the second derivative test, We'll get the second derivative of a of x, so a double prime of x is equal to negative 4. And since it's a constant, so for whatever the value of x is, a double prime of x is negative 4. So at x equals 25, a double prime of 25 is still negative 4, which is less than 0. So we conclude that x equals 25 will yield to a maximum value for a of x. So it means to say when the width of the rectangular garden is 25 feet, 
then we can maximize the area of the garden that the gardener will be fencing. So we just have to make sure that we answer the question. What dimensions will give the garden of greatest area? So x, x is equal to 25 feet. And this is the width of the garden. And then y is equal to 100 minus 2x over here is the relationship. So 100 minus 2 times x where x is 25. So y is equal to 100 minus 50, 50 feet. Okay, this is of course the length of the garden. And then the area is x times y, so that's 25 feet times 50 feet. And it will give us 1,250 square feet. This is the area of the rectangular garden. Here is our fifth example. A rectangular field is to be fenced along the bank of a river where no fence is required along the bank. If the material for the fence costs $12 per running foot for the two ends and $18 per running foot for the side parallel to the river, find the dimensions of the field of largest possible area that can be enclosed with $5,400 worth of fence. Let's sketch the figure for this problem. So here's the figure. So we are to fence a rectangular field here. Okay along the bank of a river this is the rectangular field this is the river so no fence is required along the river now let us also define our variables since this is a rectangular field it has length and width so let's use x and y again for the uh, width and the length of the rectangular field respectively so this is x and then this is y. So this side is also x. So our constraint here is not the length of the fencing that is available, but the budget for fencing, which is $5,400 for fencing this rectangular field. Now take note that fencing the x sides of the uh, field will cost $12 per running foot. Oops, all right, I'll use a different color. And then fencing the side parallel to the river will cost uh, $18 per running foot. So $18 for this side per running foot. So for the other side, this also costs $12 per running foot. So if this side is of length x, Remember that is x feet, okay? So multiplying 12, $12 by x, 12 by x will get the cost for fencing this side, okay, of the field. And the same goes for this side, all right? So 12 times x feet, $12 per foot times x feet will give us the cost for fencing the other side. Okay, now it goes the same for this side of the fence. If we multiply $18, okay, by the length of that side of the field, which is y feet, we'll get the, uh, we'll get the cost for fencing that side of the, f now of the field, okay? So if we sum this up, this must be equal to 5,400 because that is our budget for fencing the rectangular field. So if we simplify this function, 12x plus 12x is just 24x, so plus 18y, this is equal to 5,400. Now again, we want the dimensions of the field of largest possible area, so that can be enclosed with our budget $5,400. So area of the field, since it's in the form of a rectangle, so the length is y, and the width is x, so x times y 
is the area of the field. Now again, we have to write A in terms of one variable only. And we can do that by using this equation. Okay, This is the relationship between X and Y. So solving for Y from this equation, we'll have, we'll have to transpose 24X to the other side. And that is 18Y equals 5,400 minus 24X. And to isolate y on the left side, we simply divide both sides of the equation by 18. Okay, so we have y equals 5,400 divided by 18 minus 24x divided by 18. So we'll simplify each term. Alright, so y is equal to 5,400 divided by 18 is 300. And then 24 and 18 are both divisible by 6. 24 divided by 6 is 4. So 4x over, so 18 divided by 6 is 3, All right? So, or we can write it as 300 minus 4 thirds x, okay? So now the area can be written in terms of x only, area A in terms of x, since A is equal to x times y, so it's x times y is 300 minus 4 thirds x. Again, we simplify a of x by removing the grouping symbols, and we'll get 300x minus 4 thirds x squared. And then to get the maximum value for a of x, we get its uh, first derivative and equate the first derivative to 0 afterwards. So the first derivative of a of x is 300 minus 8 over 3x. Okay, now equating the first derivative to 0, we'll get 0 equals 300 minus 8 thirds x. Okay, now solving for x, I transpose negative 8 thirds x on the left side of the equation to get 8 thirds x equals 300. And then just multiply both sides of the equation by the reciprocal of 8 thirds, which is 3 eighths, so that we can isolate x on the left side. And we'll have x equals 300 times 3 is 900 over 8. Or simply, x is equal to 225 over 2. Remember, this is in feet. Alright, so we want to know if x will yield to a maximum value of a of x. By using the second derivative test, okay, We'll obtain a double prime of x. So this is the first derivative. So the second derivative is negative 8 thirds only. And since it's a constant, so for whatever the value of x is, so for x equals to 2, 5 over 2, uh, a double prime is always negative, a negative number. So 2, 2, 5 over 2 is always negative 8 thirds, which is less than 0. So therefore, x equals to 2, 5 over 2 will yield to a maximum value for a of x. So again, make sh let us make sure that we answer the question. So we want to find the dimensions of the largest possible area, the dimensions. So x, I'll write the answer here, x equals 2, 2, 5 over 2 feet, or that is 112.5 feet. All right, so this is the width. Okay, now y is equal to, here's the relationship between x and y. So that is 300 minus 4 thirds x, where x is 112.5. So y is equal to 150 feet. Of course, this is the length of the rectangular field. And of course, what is the area of the rectangular field? It's just x times y. So 112.5 feet times 150 feet is equal to uh, 16,875 square feet. So this is our answers.